With action and suspense out of the Old West comes the most famous hero of them all, Hopalong Cassidy, starring William Boyd. The Ring of the Silver Spurs heralds the most amazing man ever to ride the prairies of the early West, Hopalong Cassidy, the same Hoppy you cheer in motion pictures, and the same California you've laughed at a million times. Raw courage and quick shooting have built a legend around this famous hero. Hopalong is a name to be feared, respected, and admired. For this great cowboy rides the trails of adventure and excitement. William Boyd as Hopalong Cassidy and Andy Clyde as California. Well, Hoppy, what about our story? Our story is called Six Little Men Who Were Green and began one afternoon in Utah. California and I had finished a business trip to San Francisco and were heading back to the Bar 20. We'd taken the train, but we're nearing Desert City, where we were to get off and make the rest of the journey on our horses. So far, the only other man in our coach had not spoken, though he took an interest in us from his seat across the aisle. Uh, Hoppy, uh, you think we get enough knickknacks to satisfy all the folks back home? <laughs> By the look to that seat full of packages, I'd say so. I wish I hadn't forgotten to get old lady Johnson's sachet stuff. But, uh, <laughs> oh, heck, who cares what she smells like? Taking home some gifts, eh, strangers? Nice gesture. Yes, sir. Makes them feel remembered. Uh, I'm uh, Jason Joe. Ah, glad to make your acquaintance. My name's Cassidy. This is my partner, California Carlson. Howdy, Mr. Jones. Yeah, where are you headed? I thought perhaps Wyoming. Might get me a shop there. Ah, that's good country. Cheyenne's growing fast. Uh-oh. We're getting some new passengers. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Look at them ride. They sure must want to get on this train mighty bad. Yeah, they're switching from their horses. Hey, what's the matter? Uh, oh, uh, nothing. Uh, nothing at all. You know those men? Uh, well, no, not exactly. I... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, what... oh watch it. Uh, uh... Jason, are you ill? Uh, no, no, sorry. I'll, I'll help you pick them up. Oh, no harm done, I reckon. There, that does it. Uh, excuse me again. I guess I'm a little nervous. Uh, perhaps some air. I'll, I'll try the platform. Here. Jason, well, well, Kansas, look who's on the train. Well, what do you know? How did you own? Uh, hello, Swinger. Uh, yeah. Kansas. Just goes to show that there's nothing certain but taxes and uh, death. Hey, Jason, <laughs> I bet you never expected this. But uh, let's go out on the platform and uh, have a smoke. No, I, 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 I don't... Oh, uh... nonsense. Kansas, take him another arm. Let's go. No, uh... California, didn't it seem to you that those men were forcing Jason outside? Well, uh, yeah, now that you mention it, I... Uh, oh, no, no, Hoppy. Uh, them hombres ain't gonna like us buttoning, and that lean slab of bacon with a soft voice is a killer or I'm a ballet dancer. I know. Tied down guns, cutaway holsters. Kansas. I wonder if that could be Kansas overall. Oh, well, if it is, that's 14 more good reasons why we are to say right here in our hip pockets. Or a mighty good one for taking a look out there on the platform. Come on. Hoppy, darned if you can't smell trouble quicker than a mountain lion mama with a new litter. <laughs> uh, shouldn't we uh, kind of knock first? The oh, whole stop growling. You know you wouldn't miss it. Hoppy? Jason ain't out here. So I see. Strangers, where's the little man, uh, Jason Jones? Uh, you a friend of his or just uh, scratching a bump of curiosity? For the moment, call it curiosity. Where is he? Well, he's not in the car ahead. What would you say, Kansas? What would I say? That's funny. I'd reckon he's just about being turned away from heaven now. Mary's likely going to a hotter climate. Uh, what Kansas here is trying to say is that Poor Jason is dead. He's he, what? The, he it, fell off the platform. <laughs> uh, you might say that he was pushed off by six little green men. Now, back to Hopalong Cassidy and our story, Six Little Men Who Were Green. Uh, 
On the train from San Francisco, a little way from Desert City, Utah, Hoppy and California see a traveling companion named Jason Jones taken to the outer platform of their car by two strangers who had just boarded the train from fast horses. Investigating, Hoppy is told that Jason was pushed from the train by six little green men. Hoppy, these hombres are local. Green men. I have a hunch one or both of them are murderers as well. No, 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 no. Forget my remark about the green men. It was a simple accident. Jason stumbled back, fell, and, well, it was very sad. Yeah, sad enough, but hardly the end of it. Uh, Swing is my name. My friend is Kansas Sobro. So, now I know there's going to be more to this. Yeah, see, my reputation is growing. Professional killers get well-known fast. I'll have to boost my ante, Swinger. Though I'd still rather you'd give me another job. You know I hate killing. Plum ruins my sleep. Maybe the state will cure you permanently after this. Hey, wait. What are you doing? I'm going to pull the emergency cord so Jason's body can be recovered. I'll pull it, Hoppy. Kansas, stop it. Yep. I reckon this gun here... About the same thing this gun says, Kansas. Drop it or the undertaker gets some more business. Great day in the morning. I didn't see you drawing. Well, surprise. Wait, wait. Now, now, why not leave us out of it? I'll make it up. Swinger, there's a fact you should know. You can't make restitution for murder. As sheriff of this county... I want you to understand that this matter will be investigated to the hilt. To the hilt, you understand? Sheriff Todd's no man to mince words when action is to be taken. But you got the darn killers are sitting right there. Please. I am the best judge of that. Mr. Swinger seems hardly the type to go around killing people. Why, he's a wealthy man. Yeah, that would make him innocent. Well, how about that Kansas overall? He sure ain't no parson. Oh, pish posh. Pish posh, I say. I can't suspicion him of murder just because he's been in a few gunfights. You fat-headed, windy old idiot. You wouldn't suspicion a thief if his hand was in your pocket. If I suspicion anyone of being a killer, it's you. What? what, what? Well, I, I order... Sheriff, a, 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 I want a, you to know that it warms my heart to find that you're a man of intelligence and integrity and not one to be to be swayed by malicious gossip. <clears throat> anyway, anyway, thank you, Mr. Swinger, thank you. This cast this story about green men and our menacing of the deceased. Well, it's, it's obvious that he's making light of a serious matter. Oh, when I think of poor Jason's accident, I... Uh, are we free now? Certainly, Mr. Swinger. Wait a minute, Sheriff. If they go now, you'll never see them again. Tut, 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 Mr. Cassidy. You're throwing stones. Mr. Swinger is a reputable importer from San Francisco. So he says. I'm sure I can depend on his word to stay in town until my investigation is completed. My word is my bond, sir. You see, Mr. Cassidy? I see. But aren't you going to search their luggage? I still say they may have stolen something Hardly from... necessary, I believe. Hardly necessary. Kindly allow me to conduct my own business. Oh, and uh, you two are also to remain in town. Well, we were on Until our... I say you're free to go. Good day, gentlemen. Sheriff. Huh. I've seen hound dogs with colic that'd make better lawmen than that Todd. <laughs> Hoppy, we just can't let them two killers go scot-free. I know. If we can only prove they had a motive to kill Jason. Couldn't we kind of pick a little fight and uh, shoot him? <laughs> of course not. I wish we knew what Swinger meant by that crack about six little green men. Oh, Hoppy. I- I've seen white men, brown men, red men, and even a couple of yellow men. But uh, green men, yeah. uh, they come out of 40-rod bottles along with their pink elephants. Yeah, but Swinger was cold sober, and besides, I... Pardon. Cassidy? That's right, Mr... Quiet Sam Miller. What can I do for you? Swinger Rob Jason. What uh, business is it of yours, stranger? None. Did he? You looking for the green men? Maybe. You know? All. Everything. Too bad. <laughs> you uh, don't waste no words, uh, do you, mister? Foolish. Just what's your interest, Miller? Curious. Uh-huh. Well, then, uh, why say it was too bad we know the green men? Wait a minute. The... What's the idea well, there's a strange hombre. He's about as talkative as a tombstone. California, can't you make your comparison a little more cheerful? I get a better idea. Let's forget the whole thing. That milk-faced chatterbox took all my curiosity away. <laughs> uh, uh, 
This Shasparelli's sure flat. Ah, maybe it's those whiskers you strain it through. Well, oh. well, 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 good evening. I guess you were wrong about Mr. Swinger and Mr. Overhill. Uh, you mean they really didn't crawl out from under a rock? I mean they're still in town. Saw them right outside. Ah, uh, probably waiting for dark. I'll give you a hunch they eat breakfast a long way from here. That's a bad hunch, Mr. Cassidy. I reckon I better bore you before you have any more. Shut up, Kansas. Anytime you feel up to it, gun hawk. You heard me, Kansas. Leave those guns alone. I heard you, but I take your pain out your lip, Swinger. This here deal's getting plum sour. We're back where we started at. Well, that's my problem, not yours. Sheriff, did you keep Jason's bags? Yes, in my office. But I haven't examined them yet. You haven't? No. Nope. Well, I, uh, I wanted to get Jason's address to send my condolences, you know. Why, that's very thoughtful of you. I'll check them now. No, 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 no. I mean, uh, well, the morning is time enough. Oh. Uh, good night. Good night, Mr. Swinger. My, my, such a fine man. Yeah. Come on, California. I have a feeling the green men are loose again. Well, let's find those bags quick. The green man's got to be in them. Look around you. If you hadn't taken that doll to be the green man, we could have nabbed the bags on the train. Well, how was I to know that Jason would be carrying a blasted doll? It was the same size and shape as the green man, and we didn't have time to unwrap the package. Mm -hmm. Hey, can't we strike a match? No, 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 no. We'll find them in the dark. Oh, here they are. Well, let's take them. Get on out of here, then. Ah, don't be a fool. Search them here. If we take them, even that idiot of a sheriff will suspect us. Maybe he will anyway. What, what's it? Oh, what? How about some light? It's a mighty dangerous game to play, Cassidy. That's why California's covering you from behind. Tell me, Swinger, what are the green men? Well, they're, they're just jade figurines. I, uh, I want them for my art collection. The whole set of six, that is. Ha <laughs> ha, try again. Well, it's true. I have three of them. Jason had one. I wonder... Does a man named Miller have the other two? Miller? I, uh, I don't know anyone named Miller. Well, if he has, he'd be next on your list. Only... Look! I... The light! Ah, copy! I can't see! Uh, Hands just take a break! Copy! Hang on! I'm a coming up! Oh. How's your head now, old-timer? Uh, where is it? Uh, I still got it? <laughs> it's in the same place, but a little dented, I'm afraid. Sure, it's busted wide open. Uh, did they get away? They did. And that third party who shot out the lights got away with Jason's bags. I had my hands on him, but lost him in the dark. It was that little polecat Miller. What did he do? Bite your hand? No, it'll be all right. It's just a scratch. Uh-huh. Well, I reckon that one will get his comeuppance. <laughs> the way I see it, Whoever's got that green man is due to get killed. Well, a swinger in Kansas know that. That's true enough. But let's hope they don't succeed. Why, well, I'd just as soon see them shoot each other. Uh, what you fucking around them packages for? Just checking a hunch. I know who has the green man. Yeah? What? Uh, well, who is the poor critter? Who has it? We do. <laughs> Now, back to Hopalong Cassidy and our story, Six Little Men Who Were Green. After trapping the two men they know to be the killers of Jason Jones, Hoppy and California lose them when an unknown man interferes and steals Jason's bags, believed to contain the little green man, one of a set of six jade figurines, and the motive for Jason's murder. But later in their hotel room... Hoppy startles California with the news that they have Jason's little green man. Hoppy, you're kidding, I hope. Yeah, here it is. Take a look. A jade figurine, like Swinger said. But what in blazes is the darn thing doing in our packages? Remember when Jason stumbled and fell among the packages just after he saw Swinger and Kansas board in the train? Uh, you think he put the green man in with our stuff then? And took the doll I'd bought for Jenkins' little girl. 
I guess Jason hoped the stall swinger off with it and get his green man back from us later. Only he was killed, and now we have it. Yeah, but we'll turn it over to the sheriff as soon as he comes. He's out chasing Swinger in Kansas. Yeah, if he catches him, they'll probably talk him out of his gun. Uh, what makes this darn thing so valuable, anyway? I don't know. Let's examine it closer. Oh, maybe that's the sheriff now. Yeah, he's come to tell us how nice he thinks Swinger is. Come in, sheriff. Oh, hello. Back. Fast. I practically never argue with a cocked gun. Wise. What's the big idea, Wendy? Green man. Give. Sure, now that's uh, an unfriendly attitude. I... Oh, oh! Why, you cold blooded little. Oh! <clears throat> Stupid fools. Now I have three green men. Soon I'll have six. Who's. You. No! Don't! <laughs> <laughs> No need to make fun of me, Hoppy. Who's making fun of you? He hit me, too. Uh, hope uh, your head don't feel like mine if I could just get my hands on that coyote who... Oh, oh, oh don't do that. Uh, Hoppy, I just did. Did what? Get my hands on him. Only now he's got holes. Oh, what are you talking about? Open your eyes. We got uh, company. The dead kind. What? Uh... Oh, no. Hey, what's going on in here? What was the shooting about? Oh, oh my. Is he dead? Well, if he isn't, he's playing a mighty strange joke. Ah, the killer made away with the green man, I see. More of Swinger's work. He and that ace of spades, two-shot gunslinger of his. No wonder they just rode out of town so fast. My posse's saddling now. You want to join it? Seems you're too no shame, Sheriff. Pish posh, I always suspected that pair. You kept it well hidden. But we'll join that posse of yours. Good, good. I'll have the doc come up and take care of the... of him. I... Oh, I think I'll wait for you outside. Hurry. So that's the story of the green men as far as I know, Sheriff. Jason had one, Swinger three, Miller two... Only now, Swinger has all six. It must be great works of art to be worth all he's done to get them. Not from the look of the one I saw. California, can't we go faster? Still too dark to follow the trail, Hoppy. The sun will be up soon. Could uh, Jade be that expensive? I doubt it. Hey, Hoppy, Sheriff, they turn here. Hey, pull up a minute. Pull up. Look, look at those scrapes there. They was riding hard and turned without slowing. Not hard to figure where they headed. Those two rocky canyons... Only which one? Uh, they're going to be hard to find. Even if we guess the right canyon, we'll lose the trail on the rocks. Oh, no, we won't. I know those canyons now. They're both dead end. They're trapped in one of those canyons, men. Anderson, yeah. come with us. We'll go left. Mark, take the others up and head up the right canyon. Oh, Mark, don't take any chances. Shoot to kill. <laughs> California, keep an eye on those rocks on your side. I don't like the way they rise above us. Sure, who does? This is ambush country if I ever saw it. Ridiculous. Those two men are fleeing. They don't want battle. Kansas Overell is no tenderfoot, Sheriff. He's a gunfighter and a dangerous one. Don't underrate him. Oh, to that I say pish posh. Anyhow, there's the end of the canyon up ahead. Sure, we took the wrong one. Wanna bet? Take cover into the rocks. Oh! Over there, Hoppy! They've quit firing. Uh, I guess they must be reloading. Say, where's Henderson? Uh, he went down that first volley. California, wrap your band down around this leg, will you? Sure, sure. Uh, just a crease, Hoppy. Yeah. But you won't do no dancing for a spell. Well, yeah. You two are certainly taking all this strangely. Do you realize those men are trying to kill us? Not so tight, California. Ah, that's better. Hmm. That'll stop the bleeding Didn't anyhow. you hear me? We're in danger. After all, Cassidy, I'm sheriff. I'm going to make a deal with those men right this Open minute. that mouth of yours and I'll stuff it plumb full of knuckles, you mealy-mouthed windbag. California, 
Let's try something while they're reloading. See that flat rock behind them? Well, sure, uh, Hoppy, uh, but why? Drop some slugs against it. I think we can smoke our friends out with ricochets. Yeah, that's that's right. Try silly stunts. Try silly stunts while they're getting ready to kill us. Well, that's what. Don't shoot anymore. Hold it, California. We give up. Don't do that again. Toss your guns away and come out hands up and empty. Now they're coming out, Hoppy. Uh-huh. Let me your rifle, Sheriff. Mine's empty. Yes. Thanks. Hmm. We better go to them, Hoppy. Looks like they shot up pretty bad. Now, uh, here's your rifle, Sheriff. Yeah. Take a look at Kansas, California. I'll check Swinger. Kansas? Uh, Kansas? Hoppy. He's cashed. Yeah. Swinger's only scratched. Fainted, I guess. Come on, Swinger. Wake up. Uh. Doctor, get me a doctor. I'm dying. I uh, will get you a doctor as soon as you talk. Yes, yes. Tell us about the green men. What's their secret? A uh, miller stole them from rich Texan who said the set would reveal his greatest wealth uh, when it was put together right. He, he was nutty on the subject. All right, go on. How did the set become split? Well, Jason helped Miller, then stole four of the green men from himself, not knowing that they had to be used as a set. I stole three from Jason, but he, he, he got away with the other. What was the connection between the three of you? Well, Miller and I were partners, Delk and Jade. Jason did odd jobs for us. Until you all started stealing from each other. You killed Jason? No, no, it was Kansas. He hit him, pushed him off the train. Won't make no difference. You're the one who hired that gunslinger. I reckon he shot Miller, too, and where's them six little green hombres? Oh, he doesn't have the six yet, California. And they had nothing to do with Miller's death, except to run from it. Oh, sure, sure, Miller shot himself, I suppose. No, he was shot by an opportunist. A man who saw a chance to cut in on something big. The same man who shot the light out and stole Jason's bags from the sheriff's office. And this man is... Uh... The sheriff himself. Right, Sheriff? Uh, what, what's that? Oh, this is preposterous. Idiotic. Not so idiotic. Kansas tipped the deal in the saloon. You listened outside the door of your office and heard Swinger admit that the green men existed and were valuable. So you shot out the light and stole the bags. Pish posh. Prove it. I grabbed you in the dark, scratched my hand on something pinned to your shirt. How many men in Desert City wear badges? Why, you... Uh, <laughs> All right. Uh, so I shot out a lamp. And shot Miller. Want proof of that? It's simple. No people. Well, what's that proof? Everything. Those shots must have been heard. Yet before any people could get to our room, you were there telling me Swinger and Kansas had ridden out of town. They couldn't have shot Miller. And you must have. You guess entirely too well, Cassidy. <laughs> too bad. Everyone was killed in the battle. And I'll have all six of the green men. That wealth will be mine. Uh, I wouldn't try shooting that rifle. <laughs> I'll only shoot three times. The first time at you. Now, back to Hopalong Cassidy. Well, Hoppy, I found the green man just like you said. Three in Swinger's saddlebags, uh, three in Sheriff Todd's. Good. I've patched up Todd. Maybe next time he'll listen to me about not shooting. You mean you know that darn rifle was going to bust apart? <laughs> I was sure hoping so. When I borrowed it from him, I wedged a rock down into the barrel. Well, I'll be teetotally flubberty gibbity. <laughs> <laughs> next time, tell me, will you? Uh, I was sure we was done for. Ah, uh, Let's take a look at those green men. I want to see just what they have to say that's worth so much robbery and bloodshed. And if I see anything except these scratches on the bottoms, uh, say, uh, uh, maybe those square bottoms fit together like one of them puzzles. Let's try it, huh? Yeah. The lines are beginning to fit. Uh, is it a treasure map? No, it's just words. They're kind of faint, but I can read them. One hundred. Oh. Thousand. Oh, uh... Inside, turn head. Well, I'll be, uh... It's uh, it's in the man, after all. I'll turn the head of this one and see. I see. There. It's Holler. 
There's bills inside. Uh, pull them out, Hoppy. So this is what men died for. Huh? Uh, let me see. Uh, hmm? It's money, ain't it? Sure. Thousand dollar bills. And every one Confederate. This whole thing was over a hundred pieces of worthless paper money. <laughs> Well, leave it to Hoppy to find the solution to any mystery and figure out the secret of the six little men who were green. Don't miss the next thrilling episode of Hopalong Cassidy when Hoppy and California get tangled up with a junior Batman. Hopalong Cassidy, starring William Boyd, is transcribed and produced in the West by Walter White, Jr., Six Little Men Who Were Green was written by Herb Purdom with original music under the personal direction of Albert Glasser. All stories are based upon the characters created by Clarence E. Mulford. This is a Commodore production. <laughs>